Hi Gemini, Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot here to do your weekly reading. So this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Gemini for the week of April 20th through to the 26th. It is a general reading and as such the messages will not resonate for everyone so be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. I would like to thank you for joining me and for anyone who would like to know I am using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. I have pulled one weekly card with a clarifier. I'll be looking at what's at the bottom of the deck. And I've also pulled an animal speak room. So Gemini, you have the Two of Wands for this week. And it is being clarified by the moon. There we go. And at the bottom of the deck, the bottom of the deck you have the Magician. Okay, and your animal speaker in for the week is the Woodpecker, which is all about new rhythms and, and following your own rhythm. Okay, so Gemini, you have the overall week, the overall energy you have for the week is the Magician. And the Magician is really about focused creativity. This is about you turning your visions into reality and being able to, to manifest your dreams and manifest the things that you want to achieve. And it's about inspired action. It's about you realizing this week that you have all the tools that you need, all the skills that you need in order to make something real and to realize something that you um, have wanted to do. So this could be in the area of your money, career, finance. It could also be in the area of your relationships. So that would be love relationships, family relationships, uh, friends, children, any of those kinds of relationships. But this is also about um, you realizing that, that you, you will be successful in whatever it is that you're doing through the application of talent, your talents, and that you have the talents and abilities you need to succeed, and effort. So you actually have to put the work into it as well in order to manifest and make real things that you want to achieve. Now you have the Two of Wands for the energy for the week. And that Two of Wands energy, this is about, it's about waiting for results or making a choice. And, and the Two of Wands, it's also, so you see here, there's two identical boxes, two wands here, um, and the key, there's only one key to open a box. So you have to make a choice between two different actions to take or two different paths to choose from. But it's also about there being a window of opportunity being presented to you. But in order for you to take that responsibility or take that um, opportunity, you have to, or seize the opportunity, that it, it's going to also take leadership and vision and decision making. And again, that's where that choice comes in. So it's about you making plans this week. So you could be starting to make plans to move forward with something that you've wanted to do for a little while and setting them into motion, actually starting to do it. So putting in that effort that, that um, we spoke about with the magician and putting to, in order to set set um, those plans into action. But it's also about keeping your intentions very clear this week. And it's being clarified by the moon. And the moon, the moon can represent, it, it, it's an object that shines very brightly and shines light onto things, but it doesn't shine as brightly as the sun. So it doesn't illuminate everything as clearly as the sun. There's still lots of shadow. So it can represent things being in the shadow. So you might not have all the information yet, um, there could be something that's unforeseen problems or issues that could come up along the way. So little bumps on the road this week that you could experience relating to any kind of plans that you set in motion. Moon is also the card of Pisces, but this is also about trusting your in intuition. So if you haven't quite, if, if you're getting ready to make plans to do something, but you haven't yet made the choice on which direction to move in. This can be about you also going within and trusting your intuition and listening to your intuition in order to, um, to make that choice and make that decision and how in what, what path you're going to choose. Now you also have the woodpecker and as I mentioned earlier, the woodpecker is about new rhythms. So this talks about, when, when we say new rhythms, it's about 
it's about you following your own rhythms and pursuing in a, in your, your um, endeavors in a manner that are unique to you. So it's not about doing things the way you've always done them in the past because that's not going to work. And it's not about doing things the way others have done them because that won't work for you either. This is about you carving out a new path, a new way of doing something. Um, so planning and building for the future in, in a way that best serves you and you alone. And with this, there will be new opportunities for rapid growth around you. And um, it will also help to, by you listening to your own rhythms and following your own path. And part of that could be about that moon and that intuition as well. Listening, tapping into your intuition to, to kind of carve out that path. Um, by doing so, it will help you to eliminate any kind of wor worries and allow success to take root for you in the coming months. So that's the energy of the woodpecker. So it sounds like you have a very exciting month or exciting week this this week, Gemini. And this concludes your reading for the week of April 20th through to the 26th. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you are notified when the next readings are available. And Gemini, you have a fantastic week and take care.